Rikers Island, jail, locked up, gangs within the jails in New York City, cutting, slashings, a horror movie like you've never seen in your life. Today we're going to talk about this story real brief on David Morero, respectfully because someone was stating that this gentleman, what he did was telling. Now, here's the thing with me. I don't know David Morero. I don't know who he is. I've never been around him. But what I do know is that 99.9% of inmates incarcerated at Rikers Island or throughout the state penitentiary, once they get cut or stabbed or anything happens to them, where they feel the COs could be held liable or responsible, like they sue and generate money, they doing that. These are facts. Now, it probably never happened to you if you've been in prison, and if you've never been to jail before, <laughs> stay safe. It's one of your yets. Prison is for no one but accepts everyone. Let's get to it. This guy was cut. A slashing looking gruesome. And I might show you real brief the pic, but let's get to it. This is what happened. He put a lawsuit in for $20 million. In a second, I'm going to show you a video that this same guy made recently. And this all happened years ago. Mind you, this is about 2017 or something like that. Uh when it was out, the article. Inmate David was at the gym on Saturday around 6.42 p.m. when inmate Steven, this is the thing, they start dropping the names and all that, and then people be like, oh, he told, he, he ratted. <laughs> How they know the name, you know, and, and so on, right? Uh, who is awaiting trial for murder and has a history of violence against other inmates, slashed them across the right eye and cheek. Damn, my dude. Whoever ripped them had a lot of anger and knew how to rip. Like, pop, just caught them sleeping respectfully, bro. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to the best of us, bro. You get it? I just, when I see things like this, I'm going to tell you what it does for me. It keeps it green. As far as like, bro, this is why I'm doing everything in my power to stay off of Rikers Island because I lived that life almost my whole life, my whole youth, older years and all that. And I no longer want to live like that, bro. It's savage. It's animalistic. And I was used to it. But anyway, boom. According to a notice of claim filed by Morero's lawyer, about eight correction officers were with Morero when he was attacked, but they did nothing to prevent him from getting slashed, the claim says. Nah, not the claim says. That's exactly what be going on on Rikers Island, especially if the COs know the ops. COs be cool with people like, yo, what up? They be gang and all that. Let's keep it a stack. Let's not lie unless you want us to lie. <laughs> They be gang, they be affiliated, they want to be down. They more in the jail than in their household, working double shifts, triple shifts. You know, they take a liking to some, a lot of us are charismatic, right? Not me, but a lot of other people are very charismatic. I wish I was, but anyway, <laughs> right? One officer took a photo. Yo, look at how the officer was clout chasing. He took a photo and then posted online. Who does that, bro? Like, you're an inmate at Rikers. Even when you call Rikers Island and you ask for an inmate, like if he's at the jail and all that, they put you through hell to get his information or that he's there while jail he's in. You're not supposed to just be for, it's for security purposes. But anyway, none of them do anything or did anything to stop it, it's supposed to say, right? 
and one is taking photographs and leaks it out. His lawyer is stating this. It's a violation of my client's privacy. You can't just start taking photos. He's there as an inmate. He has his silver rights. I don't know, bro, respectfully, but when you get locked up, they feel like, <laughs> like they just strip, well, <laughs> strip, cough. <laughs> yeah, they make you do that. Squad. <laughs> that's ill, bro. They made us do that for a lot of years. I always feel like that's a violation. But hey, stay out of jail, guys. All you dudes that's out there doing crime and living a wild life, this should be a big eye opener. Because technically, you can learn a lot. If you just pay attention and listen to a video that's being put out there, you can learn a whole lot, bro. And it'll help you and save your life to stay out of prison and jail and institutions just by paying attention to what we saying. Like, yo, I don't want to be like them. That's why I always made this type of content. Anyway, he has been on Rikers since October awaiting a retrial because he was up north and came back down from Sing Sing from what I got from the thing. And that's coming up. Waiting a retrial. He was transferred to the jail from Sing Sing because his appeal was granted. That's what's up. Uh, and rest in peace to anyone that passed away during that incident. We had nothing to do with that. But anyway, it's a sad thing. But there's one thing that he has that I don't know if that was the case, but it brings problems in the jail. And that's a gold chain. And all his pictures, I've seen him with a gold chain r running around the island. So I'm pretty sure he was able to hold that like that. And he wasn't being, he was no penko because they would have took that from him and Sing Sing before he got to Sing Sing and all that. So a lot of the people that be in your same gang, here's what they do, bro. I'm going to tell you, you could have did nothing to violate the gang, nothing. But I always said this. They will find something. Tell me I'm lying, bro. I'm lying. I'm lying, bro. I'm lying. <laughs> They'll find something to say you no good, to put dirt on your name. The leader of whatever gang you're in or what have you. Now, I don't know if he was a gang member, but someone posted his video and his video has been circulating that he made saying, yo, I'm not Jed, I'm not blood. And I'll show you a little bit of it. And in my head, I was like, Boy, you better not be. You better not be, right? With respect to everybody. But this is why I say that. So apparently the dude that cut him, pop right here at the bottom, uh, uh, if you can see right here, boom, right? All right, so now we got the cursor. Sid Berry, a reputed Bloods member awaiting trial for murder, has been involved in close to 40 violent outbursts since he was first arrested in 2010 record show. That includes at least one prior slashing, breaking the jaw of another inmate, <laughs> headbutting a correction officer, repeatedly spitting and tossing urine at officers, setting fire to toilets in his cell, and grabbing a medical staffer department documents reveal. In 2014, he tried to get a hold of a correction officer's gun inside a hospital room. Sidbury later told investigators he planned to kill the officer because I have nothing else to lose. He allegedly said city jail officials in 2015 moved the Brooklyn resident to the Albany County Jail in an effort to separate him from New York City gang members. So my thinking was like, boy, you better not be blood because a lot of these people have the tendency of getting slashed, stabbed, beat up to oblivious by a certain gang. Or group or nation and then join that very my dude, we not doing none of that. You touch me and we got be forever. Am I bugging out? I cardi B the situation. Let me know about that one there, my dude. But let's see what he had to say. Cause years later, 
the guy pops up, and here he is. My dude, tell me they didn't slash him like crazy. And I, and I post this with all respects. It's all over the news. It's all over videos. It's everywhere. But they ripped him bad. And it looks like he was already ripped. So I'm not getting, I don't want nothing to do with y'all ever in life, bro. Don't even come around me, my dude. And again, I always stay like we can't blame a whole group of people for what a handful of people did. But for him to even have to come out and explain that he's not a gang member. Or maybe he was a gang member then and they was trying to get at him. You know, dudes be sad tripping. Anyway, Rikers Island, Bloods, David Marrero. His mother had to suffer all this, bro. I seen a video about it and I say it respectfully towards him. I respect his mother to the fullest, bro. She gets the must. She's the realest mother in the world. A lot of us wish they had a mother like her to be there for you the way she was of what I seen in videos. But anyway, the last thing I'll be thinking about is being blood on Rikers Island after all that happened to me. I don't know if that's what the case was. I'm just saying, my dude. So do I think he ratted? I think he saw an opportunity to get some money. And for the people that are asking about it, I think you would have did the same thing. Pop. But anyway, <laughs> let's check out the video because it gets crazy. Bob, take us to the video tape. All right. Here we go. He gets, he gets, he, he goes in. I'm pretty sure you've seen this, but here's him older now. Has a good brain on his shoulder, right? This could go both ways. I'm going to tell you what I get out this video. Listen. I'm saying this one time and one time only. For all you people that keep praying on my downfall and keep gossiping negative things about me, respectfully, leave me alone. I'm not From the gate, he sounds it's like a movie. Yo, I'm going to say this one time and one time only. <laughs> yo, I'm looking at him like, yo, who's this, bro? <laughs> one of Gotti's, John Gotti's grandsons? And like... Respectfully, you heard? Like, yo, what's going on, my dude? But I guess I'm going to tell you how I fully feel, but let's get it. With all respect, sir, be yo, we got to get dragged. Let's get it. not part of no gang. Oh! I'm not affiliated with no illegal activities. Or you better not be. Crime. My gang is church. Oh! I go to church every Sunday. Nah. My dude, let's keep it a stack in the comment section. Who believe he's a Christian or he's capping? Is he capping? He could have been a Christian. And here's the thing. He went through a lot of things in jail, Rikers, right? We all went through a lot of things. Respectfully, I got stabbed in my back, but it wasn't like I wasn't around getting cut up or nothing. That was a coward dude that wanted to use the jack and the Muslims and the bloods. When I was like, oh, they beat fire out of him, like, to oblivious. But anyway, uh, uh. He looks like he got cut a few times. I don't know if there was a hit out on his name for the people that got murked during the case or what. I don't know. I was asked, do I think that's ratting? Because people were saying the same thing about Scheme Team since 2000, right? Like, he put in a lawsuit, ah, ah, yada, yada, yada. I don't know this dude. I didn't know none of their situations. But I look at it like the average individual, you get cut, you put it in a lawsuit. So a lot of dudes are just fronting because that's never been their situation. I got stabbed. I didn't put in no lawsuit. But <laughs> that's me. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Everybody's not me. Changed my life and changed my ways. 18 years of prison of something I was wrongfully convicted for. And you people are still trying to go above and beyond to put me in situations that I have no part of. So I'm asking you, please, to leave me alone. I'm not out here representing nothing. I'm not out here hanging out with gang members. I'm not out. You better not be, boy. You better not be. After listen, any gang that cuts you, stabs you, beats you up, slaps you, you should not be around them. I'm not saying that's a situation. Understand? But there's people that do. They'll get beat up by their gang and just handle it like, yo, that's how it goes. You're a violator. Nah, nah, you're not touching me. Those rules I've never been with. 
You get it? You're not touching me, bro. Facts. Out here associating with gang members. There is a few people that I met in jail that I knew over the course of the 18 years that I was incarcerated for something I didn't do. He keeps emphasizing that he was locked up for something he didn't do, but he says I'm not blood. Which I was like so wrongfully blamed and a specific district attorney went above him to get a conviction deals with my lawyer and agreed to it. He I'm not a part of no gang. I'm not Jet. I'm not Blood. I'm not nothing. I'm David Marrero, and I'm a Christian man who changed my way. God sent me home. God is my big homie. So I'm I'm thinking he was Blood at one point. You get it? So I don't understand, bro. These dudes at those times, even in twenty in the years that he was locked up, bro. Respectfully, because the Blood Nation has changed a lot, and there's good people and everything. Even back then, I was around a lot of good ones. I was with more Bloods at times than anything, <laughs> right? But homie, you bugging out. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's uh, Hispanic or something like that. Like, I don't know what happened there, but he was around them rocking shines and all that. You know how gangs are, bro. Even though I'm going to keep it a stack. Whoever knows me and the people that was locked up with me, up north, I had a chain. I used to rock Tiny's chain to the visit, which was my bro, right? And I always had a chain on, even before I was involved in anything. But a chain brings problems if you're not getting busy, busy. And even if you're getting busy, busy, jewelry brings problems in the jail. Watch, all that. We always want to rock our watch, your earrings, your chain on Rikers, if you like that. Just understand, if you think you like that and you get locked up and you got a chain on and you a gang member, there might be a chance that that day you got mad dirt on you. Even if you never did nothing, <laughs> you got dirt on you that day, bro. And they said you got to go because <laughs> somebody wants your chain. One of your so-called bros. Facts. I ain't even going to lie to you, bro. But let's check it out because this is why I respect his mother. What the hell just happened? Diana, you're chasing the story. Beautiful lady. My name is Marlene Allo, and this is my son, David Marrero. That's a good mother, bro. She sounds with conviction. This is my name, and this is my son. No matter what, he's my son. The love of a mother is unconditional, bro. No matter what you do, you're an angel in her eyes. Million dollars. And here's why. I barely sleep at night. I toss and turn. There's, you know, it's, there's no sleep in here. You have to sleep on one eye open. You know, you can't even, you can't even, you don't know who's the perp. You don't know who's the crook. Stay out of prison, man. But at the end of the day, this is all a real life situation that happened that took place where a dude got slashed and it broke news because the seals were actually there and i guess whoever so-called put in that work pop right respectfully did it in front of seals and don't matter what they supposed to protect you but they i seen them open gates they open gates for us to jump other people and you know and shout out to them but it's wrong it's definitely wrong god bless his mother solo and i say that respectfully like god bless her as a woman I, i'm pretty sure i think she's still alive so I didn't mean it in that sense, but. I right away called David's attorney, Pamela. I started calling the jail and they wouldn't give me any information. I mean, all types of things go through your mind. Like what is happening? Why they're not calling? Now this is the. They not calling because they don't care. They don't care about what happens. They just care about, they there to do a shift. And call it a rap, you heard? Facts. So there you have it. Bloods, Rikers Island, gangs, stay out of prison, jail, and institutions, bro. Rikers Island is a terrible place to be at. Sometimes when I watch things like this, it keep it so, I think it helps <laughs> me more than probably anybody else that in the world. But a lot of people always say, thank you. You know, your videos help me, so forth and so forth. 
Uh, we live every night at 8.30 here and at 3.30 p.m. on Golden Culture with a K. The link's in the description. Uh, but um, it's just sad, man, how we get used to being locked up at Rikers Island. Like, if it's nothing, like, what you gonna do? Send me back to jail? But that's what goes on at Rikers Island. So his story could be put out to save hundreds, if not thousands, of lives worldwide. Because at the blink of an eye, his name in the story could be replaced with yours. Stay off the streets, youngin. Stay away from gangs and your gang. They more dangerous to you than to any outsider. Because they next to you and with you at all times. On the lockout.